Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome to my speech. My name is Marta, uh, and I want to talk to you about Newspeak. Uh, I'm not sure if many of you know what is Newspeak, uh, but this is a topic I found very interesting um, some time ago, and uh, I can't get over it. So all the time I like finding out, finding out new things about Newspeak. Uh, and uh, what it is and why it exists or doesn't exist. So uh, in this presentation, I want to share some basic knowledge um, about Newspeak with you. Like, for example, what is the definition and origin of Newspeak, purpose and features, uh, examples in real life, um, some criticism and implications, relevance, and also ways to prevent the spread of Newspeak. Uh, so let's start from the beginning. What is Newspeak? Uh, it's a fictional language, propagandistic language, <laughs> marked by euphemism uh, and has a purpose to uh, manipulate uh, thoughts of the speakers. So the origin of Newspeak, uh, it is a fictional language created by George Orwell in his dystopian novel 19. 84, uh, which was first published published in 1949, uh, and uh, this was the official language of the totalitarian government uh, of Oceania in this book, uh, which was used to control thoughts uh, of uh, uh, the citizens. Uh, it was inspired, uh, the creation of this language was inspired by language and propaganda techniques by real-life existing totalitarian um, regimes at that time. Uh, George Orwell believed that a language can um, help controlling people's mind and thoughts and limit their ability to um, think outside of the box. Uh, although uh, Newspeak is a fictional language, uh, as we already established that, um, it is still uh, like this concept is still very um, much discussed and studied in, in linguistics, in psychology, in political science, and is uh, and has become a shorthand for the idea of language manipulation and thought control. Uh, what were what are the purposes? Uh, of what is the purpose, what are the purposes of Newspeak. So first of all, limitation uh, of freedom of thought. I already mentioned it a few times. So by reducing the number of words and eliminating certain concept, concepts from the language, Newspeak limits people's ability to think freely and express themselves. Uh, eliminating dissent. So Newspeak eliminates words that can be used to express uh, dissent or rebellion against the government. Uh, this makes uh, it difficult for people to organize um, or to challenge the government's authority. Uh, promoting obedience. Uh, Newspeak is designed to promote obedience to the government by limiting the range of expression and shaping people's thoughts. Simplifying communication. Uh, Newspeak is designed to be a simple language which makes it easier for people to communicate with, with each other. However, the simplicity comes at the cost of uh, nuances and the ability to express complex uh, ideas. Uh, and facilitating propaganda. Mm. So by limiting the ability to think critically, yes, to express themselves, government can uh, control um, and shape opinion of the public. Uh, what are the key features of Newspeak? Yes, because now we understand what it is and why it was created. So first of all, uh, limited vocabulary. Newspeak uh, seeks to eliminate unnecessary words and concepts uh, and uh, the vocabulary becomes much smaller than uh, from the standard English. Uh, as an example, let's uh, see that the word uh, bad was eliminated and replaced with the word ungood, 
because why do we need two different words if we can just add on which is like elimination yes um, like no uh, and just add it to good and have a word uh, or the word for example instead of the word excellent we can just say plus good or double plus good to express even something bigger and greater uh, double think uh, new speak encourages double think which is the ability to hold two um, contradictory beliefs at the same time for example if the government declares war is a peace people are expected to believe the statement without question so that's why uh, like this um, slogan uh, of um, of the book of the party in the book in 1984 is war is peace freedom is slavery ignorance is strength uh, yeah a standardized grammar uh, newspeak has a very standardized grammar uh, with very few exceptions and variations this makes it difficult for people to express complex and nuanced ideas uh, also simplified a syntax so newspeak seeks to eliminate um, ambiguity and simplify language as much as possible uh, this is achieved through the use of word combinations such as good think uh, to think in politically correct way or cry, uh, crime think uh, to illegally uh, to have illegal thoughts <laughs> elimination of synonyms again if we don't need the word bad and we replace it with ungood, then obviously synonyms are not necessary anymore. Mm, so there is only one word for each concept. Uh, this eliminates possibility of shades of meanings and makes it more difficult for people to express um, different views. And political correctness. Uh, Newspeak seeks to eliminate words and concepts that are considered politically incorrect. Or offensive for example the word freedom would be eliminated since it's just the possibility of a rebellion uh, examples mm, once again double think uh, this is the ability to hold two contradictory, contradictory beliefs at the same time um, as we already established Thought crime, uh, this is the act of uh, thinking or speaking against the government. In Newspeak, the word crime is added to many words uh, to create the sense of moral uh, condemnation. Uh, double plus, plus good, I already mentioned this, uh, especially good or excellent. And person, this is a, a person who has been vaporized or erased from existence, usually because they have committed a thought crime. Uh, so yeah, um, even though the, the government in in the book has uh, created the language to control minds, there are still people. There were still people who were not completely controlled, and yeah, those people had uh, uh, had this uh, terrible fate of being fate of being um, unpersoned. Yeah, so vaporized, but unpersoned didn't sound so bad as vaporized, I think, or erased. Uh, what are the real life examples of language manipulation? Yes, um, so uh, euphemism, uh, so the words um, or phrases used to make so uh, something sound more positive uh, or less negative than it actually is. Uh, double speak uh, is um, the language that is deliberately vague or misleading in order to disguise the truth, true meaning of what is being said. Uh, loaded language uh, is a language um, that emotionally charged and used to create a strong emotional response to the lis listener. Propaganda is information that is uh, often biased or misleading uh, and uh, is used to promote a particular political or ideological agenda. And also slogans, short, catchy phrases that are used to promote a particular message or idea, uh, often uh, used in advertisement or political campaigns to create some memorable message uh, to resonate with people. Uh, criticism and implication. Uh, so uh, limitations of uh, thought crime 
of so thought, sorry. <laughs> so by reducing the vocabulary uh, and complexity of uh, language, new speak um, limits people's uh, ability to create complex ideas and think critically. Uh, this makes it easier for the government to control the thought and action of population. Uh, we already established it uh, a bit earlier, I think I am repeating myself. <laughs> And uh, destruction of history. Uh, Newspeak involves to um, uh, the destruction of words and concepts from the past, which erase history and creates a new reality that serves the interest of ruling party. And actually, this is a very interesting point uh, because we always think that uh, the past can be changed. Yes, but in this case by manipulating thoughts, by manipulating um, uh, with language and uh, uh, other methods, uh, propaganda, yes, we can literally um, erase the whole history and make it in, in, the, in like the government makes it in their favor. Uh, like, for example, in the book, um, first of all, they always changed the alliance, but no one knew, like, no one even noticed that or uh, the party was responsible for creating like some huge um, scientific discoveries etc uh, and even though the party existed for some amount of years which is not clear in the uh, the party made it belief for the people that party existed always so in fact if i would tell you like any story from my uh, past Yes, that can or cannot be true. Uh, and I was, yeah, I would be also doing like language propaganda, the language manipulation, because I will tell you, okay, I used to work in a circus or uh, I don't know, to, uh, I can swim, uh, I used to swim through the whole ocean, like just swimming without a boat, right? And by using like appropriate techniques and manipulations, I can make anyone believe that, that this is re a real story and real the past. So, in fact, we can change past according to uh, language and to the ability mani uh, of manipulation of language and how people understand it. You know, manipulation of truth. So, this is also this similar, yes. So, Newspeak uh, involves the manipulation of uh, language to create a distorted reality that serves the interest of the ruling party. This makes it Examples of this in life, we don't all that we are free, only with some time we um, realize that it's not always the case, that sometimes the truth is just a, an illusion, and in fact it's not the truth. Uh, so the government can use uh, it all the time, yeah, it uses it all the time, and uh, anything can be created just with, with language, with the right method of manipulation. Also, limitations of communication. Uh, Newspeak uh, limits people's ability to communicate with each other, uh, which um, undermines the social interaction and ability to, uh, uh, to form meaningful relationship. So uh, by this way, um, in, in the book in 1984, uh, People were not commu uh, like talking normal way as we do. Uh, they were, they had limited topics. Um, they had limited vocabulary. Uh, they became. Th th it was impossible to make a real friend. Uh, it was impossible to uh, trust anyone, even your own children. As for example, the main character's uh, neighbor. Uh, she was literally afraid of her own children because she knew that in a few years, when they will wake up with this um, mind, yes, manipulated mind, uh, they will just um, make her unperson because uh, probably she is not as perfect in newspeak and in being controlled. Um, so yes, and in, in this case, there is it's impossible just to have any normal com communication with people. And obviously, if you don't communicate with people, it's impossible to um, think differently than as it is expected. And dehumanization. So uh, Newspeak. Um, so it involves a reduction of uh, human experience. 
some particular terms, yes, Sim uh, the simplified and utilitarian terms, uh, which dehumanize people, yes, and reduce them to um, to the just the part of this machinery of the state. Uh, so there is no term as a friend or any other like ways to to show people we know that just they have the comrade etc and that's all so everyone is equal and there is no personality in this way uh relevance what is the relevance of newspeak today so overall uh the relevance uh today is uh highlights the need of critical thinking and uh, media literacy uh, in order to resist language manipulation and propaganda and to preserve the richness of and complexity of language as a tool for communication and human connection. What does it mean? So uh, we have like bureaucratic control, corporate control, technical control and philosophical or religious control. Wherever we have uh, diff different euphemisms and uh, differently watch some ads advertising yes yes so uh, advertising often uses loaded language uh, which appears appeals to our emotions to sell the products for example uh, food companies use terms like um, all natural or organic uh, to make their product uh, sound healthier uh, than they actually are uh, social media, uh, social media platforms are often uh, used to spread propaganda or misinformation by, by manipulating language and using emotional appeals. Uh, users can create viral content and uh, reinforce um, their um, their worldview, yes, a, a point of view, uh, and spread their message. And also self censorship. Uh, we can say uh, in some cases um, individual may engage uh, in self-censorship by avoiding certain words or topics um, as we fear uh, to be labeled or punished um, so this uh, this can limit the diversity of ideas and perspectives that are expressed in public discourse uh, and obviously, once again, about the political rhetorics, uh, politicians often use language that is deliberately vague and emotionally charged to manipulate public opinion and promote their agenda. Uh, for example, uh, terms like fake news or alternative facts are used to discredit news sources that are critical of government. About the prevention uh, of um, how can we prevent uh, the spread of newspeak? So first of all, promote education. Uh, education is the key uh, to helping people understand the power of language and the importance of critical thinking. By teaching people uh, to think critically about the language they use and the ideas it conveys, we can help prevent the spread of newspeak-like language. Uh, Sometimes, like, uh, I don't know if any of you watch sometimes, like, some uh, channels on YouTube that show when they try to test knowledge or critical thinking of people and they ask them basic questions and those people cannot respond to those questions because they either don't know because they don't have any information or they um, cannot think of anything on the spot. So they just, um, the critical thinking doesn't work at all. Uh, also encourage media literacy. Uh, so encouraging media literacy can help people recognize uh, when they are being manipulated by language and that it is uh, that is designed to limit their freedom of thought and expression. Uh, this is also the, the, th the thing I said about like being able to evaluate uh, what is true, what is not. And um, like, this is the continuation of education because the more you know, the easier you can recognize the difference between truth and lies. Uh, protect freedom of expression. Uh, it's essential uh, to prevent the spread of newspeak like language um, by promoting and defending freedom of expression we can uh, ensure that people have um, the right to express their ideas freely and openly 
uh, as I said, we have illusion that we have a freedom of expression, but do we really? So this is a different question. <laughs> uh, promote diversity of thoughts, thoughts and opinions. Um, promoting the uh, so it's also the, uh, essential for the same purpose um, by encouraging people uh, to express their ideas and opinions openly and respectfully. Uh, we uh, can create a culture um, that values like, different perspectives and ideas, uh, and uh, this is also like what we are lacking right now because uh, how many times we had like some um, something what is influenced from the media let's say and uh, it becomes the truth uh, and then the, the other opinion is like is called unpopular opinion and some people are brave enough to to share their unpopular opinion there are but others can criticize them even like with something very very easy like um, Everyone likes one of the modern writers, yes, and everyone reads her. And one person gives the un unpopular opinion that this author is not so good, that the books are bad, uh, that, uh, uh, like, no. Uh, and what do pe people do in instead of like thinking and also analyzing? Maybe there is a little bit of truth in that. They start bullying this person who gave this unpopular opinion about this writer. So, yeah, if we were to promote this diversity of thought and opinion, it would be much easier to um, prevent newspeak like languages uh, in the real world. <laughs> Challenge the use of language that limits freedom and thoughts and expressions. Uh, so, um, we can help create culture and values critical think um, that values critical thinking and uh, freedom of expression. Overall, uh, preventing the spread of newspeak-like uh, language requires a collective effort to promote education, uh, media, li uh, media literacy, um, protection of, of uh, freedom of expression, promotion of diversity of thoughts and opinions, and challenge the use of language that limits uh, freedom and thoughts and expressions. Uh, should we pre prevent newspeak-like languages in the world? This is a different question. Um, I have my opinion about it. But I would also like to know uh, your opinion. So if you have any, any questions uh, about um, this topic, or maybe you have your own opinion that you would like to share, then it would be great. Okay, destruction of history is certainly the, uh, the central theme of the book, but is it a part of newspeak? Uh, well, it's um, it's all connected, yes. Because the less, uh, like the more uh, the simpli the more like manipulated and simplified language is, the less people are able to think, and the less they question everything what is like written in the book. So let's say today you read the book that um, the computers were invented uh, twenty years ago, yes, and you think, okay, that's true by this and this person, yes. Then tomorrow, uh, the party, the, the manipulator decides uh, we want to like make us more significant. And, they, and tomorrow, in all the articles, in all the books, the information is that computers were invented by the party 35 years ago. And the more you are manipulated with the newspeak, the more likely you will believe this. Even though today you think it was 20 years ago, Tomorrow, you will be 400% sure that it was 35 years ago. Um, if today, they will say, starting from tomorrow, we limit um, um, amount of food for every person, let's say from one, from let's say 12, 12 items to 10 items. And today you will think, okay, they are limiting us, but tomorrow they will rephrase it. Uh, we are expanding. Uh, uh, how it says, um, negative growth, yes, I think it's called negative growth. Uh, so we had a negative growth uh, for like products to up to 10, yes, and then it, like, it looks like it was lower than 10, and now it's 10, but yesterday it was 12. So I don't know if it makes sense, if you don't, if you don't understand what I mean by that. So yeah, so it's like connected, maybe it's not like 100% equal, Obviously, it's not, but yes, but it's very connected.
Do you think that Newspeak would apply today? Yes, uh, it does apply today. So first of all, what we uh, what I said about like political sl slogans uh, that um, they manipulate us to believe in this person. Then all the slogans from uh, uh, ad advertisement. Yes. So um, whatever they say. Okay. Uh, th th this will be better for you. Uh, so we don't always like um, completely understand the, what is true. Like they generalize everything. Uh, like this product will be good for you, no matter uh, what are your like um, individual needs. Uh, and we have the words uh, that we used to not be like to be nicer than usual yes so uh, obviously there are some cases when we should use like euphemisms but very often uh, we just cover the truth uh, like let's say saying passing away yes it's also euphemism it's also like the way to say something make it sound better than it is like not so bad as it is so yeah we have a lot of examples of newspeak and also like all the abbreviations that we use um everything yeah i recently bought a book in belarusian and can wait to be influenced to be fluent enough to see how they translated newspeak ah could you recommend a good translation of that book in ukrainian uh okay yes i read this book in ukrainian and in english but i would have to find give me just a second actually for those of you who speak ukrainian there is also audiobook of uh, on youtube of 18, 18 1984 i always want to say 18 i don't know why uh, but uh, in ukrainian so it's also possible okay i don't know who translated it I would have to check it so I can get back to you, Thomas, later and tell you uh, what is the translation. But yeah, there is a very good translation in Ukrainian. I really liked it. I am uh, always critical about translations for obvious reasons. <laughs> and yeah, it's pretty good. I will find it for you. But it's really interesting. For example, Newspeak uh, is called Novomova. Yes, so literally new, but it's even better because it's like new language. So. Yeah. Uh, any recommendations for current researches, papers in this field? Thank you. Uh, yes, actually, uh, if you know the website, link to it is jstor, J-S-T-O-R dot org. And on this website, I found like so many uh, articles about Newspeak and uh, researches and comparison, like Newspeak uh, in, in medicine, in COVID time, uh, like so many things that, uh, yeah, because I did like overall information, yes, but there is a lot to research about it. What do you think of the modification of NGO to oppose oppression? For example, differently abled instead of disabled. Is this newspeak political correctness in your opinion, good or bad? Uh, well, you know, like always, like the main, like give emotions to the words, right? So, and sometimes the words sound offensive, even though they're just the same letters. Yes. Um, in my opinion, uh, I like when we have uh, some alternatives. So it is good, in my opinion, to have more synonyms and be able to use the words that we are comfortable using. Uh, yes, it can be a part, yeah, it can be considered as a newspeak or political correctness, as you said in your question. Uh, is it good or bad? I don't think that this is so, so black and white. Uh, I think that there is all, like we always can find something, how to justify it and how to criticize. So yes and no. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, so, yes. Uh, so, in this case, I'm just leaving you with the only question. How about you? Are you afraid of the new speak? And do you think if it is good or bad? So, I hope you'll have a chance to discuss this topic. Okay, thank you very much for your attention.